Good morning, Pelham Road. Happy Friday to you. Today, I'd like to tell you about my spiritual biography. This is not my actual biography. If that was my actual biography, it'd be a story that involved my mom and dad and Joanne and the boys. But this is a spiritual biography. It's sort of a journey of faith for me. Now, oddly enough, it's not going to start until the year 2000. And my journey of faith started many years before that. But I'm telling this journey in t-shirts. And over the course of time, Joanne has thrown away many of my other t-shirts that are older because she thought a hole or two in them ruined them. And I tried to convince her that that's not the case. So the first t-shirt is from Camp Buckhorn in the year 2000, which is the year I came. Camp Buckhorn is a great experience for our young people and for our kids. It taught them a lot. And it taught me a lot, frankly. It taught me to open up my mind about love. And I began to interact with these kids and these teenagers in certain ways that were so meaningful to me. And I developed a, a closeness, a fondness for these kids that last to this day, if we went to Buckhorn together, we stay in touch. And so it's the beginning of this journey of what I'm gonna call the, the spiritual biography of love. And so you begin to love. Another Thing that we did at Pelham Road together was we played basketball and at the end of the season instead of giving out t instead of giving out trophies we gave out t-shirts. Sports is another way in which you learn to grow. You learn to respect your opponents, you learn to work with your teammates, you need learn to accept what you can do, what they can do, and what you all can do together. We owned a dog named Duke for many years and uh, I was very busy in those years, and I probably didn't give Duke the attention he needed. But as Duke aged and as I matured, we developed a certain closeness that was a bond that was very meaningful to, to me. And um, this love that started over here with just people began to become a love for all of God's creation. And when he passed, uh, I started volunteering at the Greenville Humane Society, and Joanne and I still support the Humane Society because animals do mean a lot to us. And while I still find myself so busy that I don't think I'd be a, a attentive dog owner, I do think and find so much enjoyment in being around animals, especially these birds in the yard. This t-shirt, Fighting Hate, Teaching Tolerance, Seeking Justice, the one thing wrong with this t-shirt is it should be teaching respect not teaching tolerance. I've read the Bible um, since 1981, pretty faithfully. Sometimes recreationally, sometimes devotionally, sometimes for my work. But the longer you read the Bible, the more you soak in it, the more you let Scripture and the Spirit of God influence you, the more you realize that the calling on our life is the calling to love. And the form that love takes sometimes is bringing justice to people. It's offering respect to people. It's fighting hate in other people. And so this t-shirt sort of points me to those things that matter, that I am supposed to be a loving person and have respect for all and work for the justice of the world. This t-shirt we did just a few years ago Stand on the side of, and it's uh, in the shape of a heart, so we were hoping to communicate, stand on the side of God's love. Again, reiterating what the red shirt said, that we are standing with God in loving people and loving God. And that the way we express our faith is not with some sort of doctrinal purity, but with standing with God on the side of love for others. If you read the scripture long enough, you'll recognize that in the Gospels, one recurring theme happens is that someone comes to Jesus and says, uh, what are the greatest commandments? And Jesus says, well, I'll tell you. Here they are. Love God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. And we spend a lot of time justifying our, well, it's our fear of other people. Maybe it's our hate of other people. Maybe it's our prejudice towards other people. But Jesus does not stand with us in all of that, in any of that at all. Jesus stands against that. The whole journey of faith is the journey to begin to love my neighbor. Not just the neighbor that I like or the neighbor who is like me, but the neighbors that are different. Love thy neighbor. 
thy homeless neighbor, thy Muslim neighbor, thy black neighbor, thy gay neighbor, thy immigrant neighbor, thy Jewish neighbor, thy Christian neighbor, thy atheist neighbor, thy disabled neighbor, thy white neighbor. Love God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. This has been my spiritual journey so far. I believe there's much more for God to teach me and to mold me into being. But in these years, he has formed me into a person who has deep respect for all people and a person who tries and preaches and lives as best he can to love our neighbors. Y'all have a great Friday and a wonderful weekend.